Mr. Benazi, we're here at the, uh, the third European Congress of uh, the notaries, notaries of Europe. You represent small and medium-sized companies in Europe. Ultimately, it's all about companies, about business, about the economy, about financing. Uh, there's a lot of talk here about the role that notaries can play when it comes to enabling companies to do their work better. What would you say is the main role of notaries for your members? Yeah, it's a very difficult question. I can answer in general in the sense that we are asking for more and more cooperation and dialogue among stakeholders. So they must uh, be a part, a component. They are a component of this potential dialogue that we have to enlarge as, soon, uh, as much as possible. For this reason, I did appreciate so much this uh, uh, thematic uh, deepening on SMEs in this case of this uh, third Congress. So this is the, the main reason as far as uh, SMEs are concerned. Then if you also also find some specific case, some specific, uh, uh, to say, more specific argument, why not? We are ready to discuss and uh, deepen in cooperation. There's two big elements here at the discussion. One of is, of course, the, the company register, better quality information about companies in other European countries. It's not an equal playing field in that sense. And there's also the discussion about creating a special company statute for small, medium-sized companies looking to do business across borders. At the moment, you, they can only register in one country and then have to... Uh, work from there. What would you say is more important, the, the SME statue or uh, the European register? Uh, allow me to answer with the provocation, none of those. <laughs> In the sense that, uh, well, the, the, these are two cases that we have to, to, to deepen and to, to keep on discussing. But, but as you can also see in the title of this Congress, and they are also uh, discussing about our, um, uh, our priority, access to finance. These are the real priorities. In the sense that we are in a situation of crisis, trying to come out from a crisis, and a European uh, private company and uh, the, uh, the the question of register. These are important questions. I don't want to underestimate, but these are not the priorities at this moment. And now we have to discuss about the think small first principle. How to which principle? Think small first principle. That is a sort of transversal. If we settle this, we can have a better access to finance above all. And in this week, we have to discuss about the financial perspectives that will also mean access to finance in the future. So these are our main points. Not to underestimate and not to underconsider what they were discussing because these are their dossier for sure. But our priorities are other ones. A lot of discussion this morning also about Greece. Uh, Greece, of course, being the worst European economy. There's talk about a new system that allows entrepreneurs in Greece to set up a new company basically within a day, a bit like in, in other countries like Belgium uh, over here in Brussels. What's your view on that? Do you think that's going to make an economic difference? This is fundamental. Not only the question of uh, being able to, to, to establish a company in a day, because if the following day you have to close, this is not so, uh, this is not so good. It, it is a good startup. It is a good precondition, but we, we have to guarantee the other precondition <coughs> directly linked to the, what the, the principle I was mentioning before, think is more first. And this, is, uh, this has to say with simplification, with uh, uh, I've studied the Greek situation together with my Greek member, and the, their, their expectations are not really taken into account in this moment. This is a pity, because Greek is like Belgium, like Italy, France, Germany, like Europe. It's a country based on SMEs. So so they had to start from this, and if uh, starting one day is one of the measures, well, welcome. But this is not the only one. They have to discuss with notaries, to discuss with banks, with all the stakeholders, or how to have these people establish the company in a day and have in the finance the following day. Okay, final question. Is there anything else that I should have asked that uh, uh, I didn't? Sorry. I didn't. Is there anything else you wanted to say that I didn't ask for? Oh, no. Well, the, the, that, uh, the, the financial perspective must be really be based upon the, the, the principle of things more first. We, we are uh, enjoyed of a program until now called the CIP, Competitive Innovation Program. It must stay. This is fundamental. Together with other more innovative programs and measures, uh, why not? But we have to think of what we used to say our traditional world. That's also innovative. Tradition is also innovation. We don't have to exclude or consider them as alternative.